Thank you. Hi. Uh, we made an analysis uh, of the use of OGS interoperable resources uh, in the different uh, journals that are included in the classification system of CONACYT in Mexico. Um, we analyzed the interoperability challenge of journals included in, the, in this uh, classification system sponsored by the Council of uh, Science and Technology of Mexico. According with, uh, uh, to information provided by CONACYT, 80% of journals included in, the, in this system are using OGS, but most of them only as a publishing platform, not as an editorial manager. This, uh, we think this is one of the main problems. Uh, the objective of this research uh, uh, is that as uh, each one of the 110 uh, OGS journals has different usage levels, we identify the main problems present for exchanging information with various platforms and uh, databases, DOAG, Cielo, Dialnet, and Rediv. Uh, the problems that uh, we identified are grouped into two kinds. Those attributed to the lack of technical training for the journal editorial teams and those related to the conditions of interoperability of the platform itself, uh, itself or uh, that of other uh, systems. Uh, we think that uh, understanding the causes behind the, uh, these interoper interoperability problems contributes to the generation of technical improvements proposals for different scientific information platforms, as well as the training of the editorial teams themselves. Okay, and uh, this is about the methodology. This presentation is uh, on a fixed shirt and you can uh, read all the numbers. Uh, I only want to, uh, to focus on the conclusions. Uh, okay, but probably this is important. We ask, uh, we made a survey with uh, different editors and we ask about the type of use of OGS, the degree of knowledge of the use of metadata harvesting, the use of uh, open archives initiative protocol of metadata harvesting, uh, about the interoperability with other databases, and uh, uh, we ask about their major problems when they are using uh, OGS. Uh, the results, uh, as I told you, the, uh, this uh, presentation is uh, on a fixture and you can show each uh, different uh, numbers, but I think the most important thing is um, uh, the, um, the conclusions. Uh, the journals that we analyze uh, have metadata exchange tools with other bases and aggregators. So the main challenge is not related to the technological infrastructure, but the professionalization of the editorial work. Uh, uh, we, we, we say that this is the uh, human interoperability, the main troubles. Editors uh, opt for what means uh, uh, less work for them, like being harvested by other aggregators, even if it means losing uh, visibility of their own web pages. They don't know about the operative function functions uh, of the software that they use. Uh, in Mexico, but not only in Mexico, but in uh, uh, all whole Latin American countries, the institutions don't have a specialized job in scientific publishing, uh, nor do they offer opportunities to, to uh, professionalize editorial work. Most editors are self-thought. Uh, for future research, uh, it will be important to analyze the perspective of the editorial teams about the additional value uh, that each database and aggregators gives to the visibility of the journal and the decision that each team makes regarding technical actions that must be implemented. Okay, thank you.